Uh, Shahab, when you look at pound, are they now pricing in a soft Brexit or at least a Theresa May deal Brexit? I think we're getting there. Uh, there's actually still more room to go in as much as uh, when you look at the FX option market, sterling implied volatility is still relatively high, much higher than uh, other major currencies. And the risk reversal skews are heavily bid still uh, for sterling puts. So we would imagine that uh, if the risk premium were to fall still further uh, and those volatility levels come down, that the spot exchange rate for the pound will also go higher. So uh, levels like 135 against the dollar or uh, 85 in euro sterling, those are achievable still uh, in, in the next few days or weeks. Uh, I think the problem becomes maybe as we get into March and we get uh, to the point where there is actually a vote in Parliament, if we then get the uh, extension, let's say to the end of June, the market may then need to start repricing in again some risk that you actually do end up with a no deal at that right. point in time. So that could be where uh, the pounds rally comes, comes to an end. But for the time being, uh, it does have some momentum behind it. Uh, Shahab, are you expecting just more volatility overall? So let's say, let's speculate that this Theresa May deal actually gets voted through Parliament. Then, as you rightly say, you have to renegotiate the relationship between the UK and the EU. What happens to pound then? Well, I think uh, this is a, a good question because uh, it's still an open uh, question, for example, who will actually be leading the UK uh, in those negotiations. There's still a lot of pressure on Theresa May uh, to, to resign as Prime Minister from within the Conservative Party, even if she gets her deal through. Uh, and the question then becomes, do you get somebody from the, the right of the party that may be more confrontational towards the EU uh, or not? Uh, or maybe you even get a new election. It's, it's very complicated at that point in time to say who's actually even well. in charge of the UK. So for, for that, I think we have to okay. say... Uh, Got to leave it there, Shu. Sure. Thank you so much.